Number 16, facts over feelings. Never let how you feel make you forget what's real. Never let your emotions overpower your intelligence. You're gonna have emotions. You're gonna go through times where you don't wanna do it. You're gonna go through times where it sucks, to be honest with you. You're gonna go through times when it's hard. But you gotta be able to work through the hard times. You gotta be able to weather your storm. You gotta be able to survive the struggle. If you wanna take your life to the next level, if you wanna be successful, because the person that allows their dream and their passion and their vision to be controlled by emotions is the person that lives a up and down life, a seesaw life, a roller coaster life. If they're down, then guess what? They don't wanna work. If people are hating on them, they turn their focus to the hate instead of keeping their focus on what matters most. You know, inconvenience, struggle, exposes somebody's true character. So when those things show up in your life, are you gonna remember the facts? Or are you gonna go with your feelings? Never let your emotions overpower your intelligence. Remember what's real. Number 17, mindsets are contagious. What you surround your life around, I promise you this, is exactly what you're gonna be like. So look around, look around your circle, look around the environment that you're in. You know, a lot of times it's not somebody that's the problem, it's the environment that's the problem. It's what surrounds their life. It's like a flower, when a flower doesn't bloom, we don't blame the flower, we fix the environment. Because you can take that same flower and put it in a, be a better environment and that flower becomes incredible, it blossoms. With your life, it can be the same thing. Maybe you're not at where you wanna be, not because of you, but because of everything that surrounds you, that's around you, that's holding you back. And yes, you might have to cut off some friends. You might have to lose some friendships. And rock bottom will reveal what's real. Real situations expose fake people. When my circle got smaller, my vision got clearer. When my circle got smaller, my purpose became stronger. Less became more, my team is small. But we do incredible things. Like when I had more people, we did less things. When I had less people, we did more things. How does that work? Because it was less drama, it was less gossip, and we were on the same page. So don't be afraid to do some surgery and cut some things and some people out your life. If you don't wanna catch what they have as far as mindset, then why are you around them? Straight up. Number 18, control your perspective. Your perspective can either be your power or your prison. So be very mindful of the meanings that you give things. Your mindset is everything. You can find two people and put them in the exact situation, the exact same situation, and one can use that situation as an excuse not to do anything with their life, and one person can use that as, an, as motivation to do something with their life. It's like kids growing up in a household, right? One kid might say, my father was an alcoholic, so I'm gonna be an alcoholic. The other kid might say, my father was an alcoholic, so I'm never gonna be an alcoholic. It's all about perspective. And the more you can see the beauty in things, the more you can see the growth in things, the more you're able to grow your life. So like with me, I don't see pain as pain anymore. Because I realized, even though I hated going through it, but I realized I had to go through those things, to grow through those things, to be who I am today. The foundation for strength is pain. Realize that. I realized that just because I lost certain things in my life, I had to lose those things in order to gain better things. I had to lose certain things so better things can begin. And so now when I come to these roadblocks, when I come to these obstacles, when I come to these, these hurdles I have to get over, I don't allow that to, to dim my light. I'll allow that to make me shine brighter. So your perspective can either be your power or your prison, but it can't be both. Make sure it's your power. Number 19, focus, focus, focus. Stop cheating on your vision with things that don't move you forward, straight up. You gotta get good at saying no to the things that don't get you a yes. That's what discipline is. Discipline ain't saying no to the things that are easy to say no to. Discipline is saying no to the things that are calling you, to the things that you like to do. There was a point where I loved to go out. I loved to turn up, but I realized turning up wasn't doing nothing for my life. 
I realized hanging out all night wasn't doing nothing for my life. I realized hanging around certain type of people wasn't doing nothing for my life, but yet I was still complaining about my life. So don't complain about the things that you're not willing to change. How you spend your time is what you care about. I don't care what you say about how you value this or how you value that. What you spend most of your time doing is what you care about. So if you want to progress your life, spend time on things that progress your life. If you want to do nothing with your life, do things that keep you in the same place. But that's on you. It's time to focus on what matters most because life isn't guaranteed. We live life like it's promised, like tomorrow is going to happen. We don't know that. 150,000 people die every day. Realize that. And so with me, I don't want to leave this earth with incomplete dreams, with incomplete visions. So I work every single day to push my life forward. Number 20, believe, 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 believe. I believe accomplishment is 80% belief and 20% of figuring the rest out. So if you believe in what you do, you're more than halfway there. And understand the vision is yours. Everybody ain't gonna see it until you make it happen. Everybody ain't gonna believe in you, but you gotta believe in you. When you know God has called you to do something, you know he's already equipped you to make it happen. But you gotta step out your comfort zone. You gotta be willing to go through the, the worst just to get to your best. You gotta be willing to be embarrassed. You gotta be willing to fail. You gotta be willing to lose people from your life. Go through all of that just to get what's meant for your life. Never stop believing, even when it seems logical to do so. Even when everything is stacked up against you. Even when your back's against the wall. Never back down. Go get your vision. Go get your business. Go get your purpose. Go get your dream. Go get it. It's there for you. But you gotta go take it. Don't let me tell you this because information without application is pointless. Go make it happen for your life. But like I say at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. Conquer your struggle and create new peaks. It's rehab time. Let's get it.